Hello, my YouTubies, my newcomers, my subscribies, and my Facebook friends, because you are some of you are friends with me on Facebook. How you doing? This is your girl Sandra, aka Simply Love, coming in to you with another video for your reading for July 2016 for Love and Relationships. This is going to be for the sign of Libra. Hi, all you Libras. Uh, remember, this is just a general reading. If you'd like to have a personal private with, reading with me, which is going to be in detail, my, all my readings are an hour. I do have 30 minutes, but that's just for follow up. Um, for follow up, uh, people that just want to come in and follow up on. Um, you know, it lasts about six up to six months. My readings, I go through several decks of cards for um, verification um, to show the whole picture, the whole story, the beginning to the end, <clears throat> to the end. And as I say to a lot of my customers, nothing's set in stone. Now that you see your future, or I show you your future guided to me through my um, spirit guides um, and other people, my ancestors that crossed over. Um, I'm getting a portal that's been open and, and that's why I pre-shuffled the cards because I go into a meditative stage, stage and get all these downloads to read to, to open the window up for more people uh, to try to make it more broadened um, for a, a, a lot more people to uh, have this person you know this general reading with um like i said um it's, it's nothing is set in stone we can't we're not here to tell you what to do uh there's no negativity uh the negativity that does show up it does give you some uh pointers on what you could do to change it it doesn't necessarily have to end up the way it ends up but you can you know you can duck and dodge some things that's not really you know beneficial to you when it comes to a relationship or a love reading and remember because it's general the characters could be if it shows up as a woman it could be a man if it's a man it could be a woman it just depends on who's looking at the video and it is general so it doesn't apply to each and every one of you 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 know some of you it may just reflect in a different cycle all these things are just cycled out because of so many uh, signs out there uh, it just cycles around so this may not be your cycle if it doesn't resonate with you okay so um, we're just gonna go ahead and get into the reading okay like I said this is for July 2016 for the sign of Libra and welcome thank you all for subscribing if you haven't subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button like comment I love all your beautiful comments I love each and every one of you and I thank you so much for your help with the uh, mid-month where I don't do the <laughs> um, the time stamps uh, because I don't have time to do that because of my readings my personal readings so I thank you all who jumped in and you know helped me out I, oh you guys are just y'all awesome Awesome. That's all I could say. Y'all are awesome. You show me so much love. Um, and, and I want to give my love that God gives me to you, okay, through these readings each each and every month that I do. And even through my personal readings, it's, it's even more personal love for you. So thank you all so very much. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for um, uh, over so social media. And um, uh, thank you for all for your uh, for choosing me to be your personal reader. You all know who you are. I really enjoy doing those readings for you. I enjoy giving the love and sharing the love because you know what, um, I you know I've grown and learned to love myself and you know it helps me to love others and that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. You know this was my calling and I'm I'm just gonna do it. And when I read, I read it intuitively. And, you know, like I said, I spent the time to meditate throughout each video, each uh, sign, so I can bring in all the energies of, or downloads that the spirit guys has to say, along with my ancestors, as I said, along with, you know, other certain uh, characters that I asked to come into readings, which I don't have, they don't really want me to say who they are, but they are there, and they're bringing in strong energies for me to deliver the messages, okay, and this is love reading, nothing else, you know, all about love, okay, Okay, so um, let's begin. Um, I'm going to be using my Thelema deck. Um, love her. I love this deck. I really um, connect with her very, very well. This is the deck for me for right now until I get bored with it and I need to connect to something else. The guides will let me know that. But for now, this is what they want me to do. Um, <clears throat> that's, that's what they want to deal with. I'm going to do clarifiers with the, um, the, Oracle, the Oracle E. It's called the Oracle E. 
So I'm going to do some clarifiers with some of these with the Oracle E. And then I'm going to give you a bonus card as well at the end of the reading. And it's going. this is an extended reading because it's the, the general reading of for July 2016. When I do my mid-months, I do the earth, fire, you know, like that. You all know how I do it. <clears throat> And uh, because it has to be a little shorter because it's just the middle mid month and it may be a little repetitive as well because like I said the downloads that I'm getting is just things are being so accurately said to me and so and I'm not bragging about what I'm what's going on I just want to let you know that you know they're so accurate even when it comes to the mid month it's like it just repeats itself. Uh, a little bit there. There's really no leeway. That's how strong and powerful the angel gods are working with me to give the messages. So the end of the message, I mean, your your bonus card is going to be the sacred sexual in um, enlightenment. It comes in this little sachet and it does have a um, a box. It comes in as well. I just wanted to show you. It comes in a little sachet. It's pink inside and all the cards are in there if you ever want to get these, okay? That'll be your last card that I'll be reading to you as a bonus card, okay? All right, um, Libra, your overall energy I pulled at the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Pentacles. That's your overall reading. That's your overall theme anyway, the Seven of Pentacles, which is growth. That's how I look at this in a love reading. It's a growth of, of, of some type of love. For some of you out there, if you're single and you're looking, there's going to be a growth in some a partnership, a relationship. For some of you who are involved with someone, I'm feeling that there is going to be, again, growth. That's what I see. That's all I can hear when I'm reading, looking at that card is a growth or wanting growth in a relationship, wanting more in a relationship. And it should be coming out more, but you have to work at it. I'm feeling some of you who are together, you're going to have to work at a relationship that you're already in. And But it, if you work at it, it's going to work out just fine because it's just going to grow more. OK. And for you ones that are looking who are single, again, you're going to have to, you know, work on whatever it is that you want. You're going to have to earn it. If that makes sense, you, you, you're going to have to earn this. Um, nothing, you know, without work is going to work. OK, <laughs> so because that's what work is all about. But it's nothing hard. Just, you know, go and learn to love yourself. Once you learn to love yourself, everything else will follow. That's what I'm feeling with this card for you, Libras, for the month of July. That's your overall. OK, so let's see what they got for you guys. Let me put the card down here so you can see. As you see, I got my little candles burning and all that that's going on here. My little Thelema theme there. Okay, let's get cracking. For the first week of July 2016, we got the Five of Pentacles. What my spirit guides are telling me about the Five of Pentacles that in a relationship, there needs to be some give and take, okay? There needs to be some give and take. Um, I believe there's somebody that may be wanting to offer or wants to offer of love, okay? Because this is a love reading. And, the, and, and in this reading, you if you look up top here, here's two things, windows or whatever they are here. It's signal, signal to me from the spirit guys that it needs to be balanced, um, this is the energy of the energy of, of, of the pentacles is a um, earth sign. So an earth sign could be in the mist or there or you could be carrying yourself, Libra, the um, some qualities or energies of the earth of earth, Taurus. Cap, no, yeah, Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. OK, <clears throat> or there could be something where somebody is. You may be uh, being, you know, being charitable with your heart and with your love. Or it may be for some of you Libras out there, you may be single and you may be looking for someone that you can share your love with, your share your all with. 
you're open to sharing and making it balanced because of these two in the background. It's like you're here and you're it, it may be in balance here, but you're looking for that one here to, to pull to make a, 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 a equal partnership for you singles. That's what you're looking for. And overall, as I said, is something that you have to work on. And it, it could work if you work on it. So, you know, work on that, you singles and you couples. Um, uh, maybe some balance or wanting balance needs to be. So you have to work on that with some of you. Some of you Libras, um, <clears throat> you could be offering love to someone or in need of love from someone. Okay, that's what I'm picking up too. In need, in in need of love, begging. Some may be begging for a love, or somebody could be begging you for some love and affection and attention as well. And this could all be. Um, you know, a grounded, somebody who wants to be grounded and humbled in a relationship. That's what I'm picking up from spirit. It could be a grounded or humbled relationship that someone wants with a Libra or Libra wants with someone else. I just heard the word reconciliation as well or fixing something. Somebody wants to fix something, repair something that was broken or uneven or imbalanced, they want to make it balanced. Okay, let me try the next one. That's all I can feel out of that one. Right? See? I just said that. Look, temperance. The temperance card. That Look what they're doing. They're balancing. They're doing a balancing act. This is a major arcana card, major event. So what I just said with that first card up here, you know, this is, like I said, in general, uh, love. It's going to take some work, whether you're single, whether you're with someone, or whether you're even in a marriage. This needs to have some work so it can be a balanced, stable re relationship, okay? That's what the uh, gods are trying to uh, say to a lot of you Libras out there, you're going to have to come up with, you know, you're going to have to get in balance, not only in the relationship, but within yourself. In order to make something work or workable and grow, you're going to have to put in the work. Somebody wants to reconnect of something that was in the past. Something somebody wants to reconcile and give of themselves that of what they never gave up, or somebody wants to reconcile, but the other person, you know, for some of you Libras, it, the other person may have already gone, or you're just hoping they come with and you're going to offer them your love and your affection and your attention. For some, they just want to make up. Or, you know, I'm saying maybe there was some words said, I'm feeling words that were said that, and now they want to make up for that and offer balance and harmony in the relationship, which is major, is major. So that's the, that's the major thing. That's the overall theme is working on a balanced relationship for something to even out here, something to even itself out. Because if you notice, she's she's an angel, okay? So this angel is bringing you, wanting to bring you, bring in balance, but you have to be open open for it. You have to work on it. You have to work on yourself, basically, a lot of you Libras. You have to work on yourself when it comes to a relationship, wanting to be in a relationship, already in a relationship. You're going to have to work on that. Don't just, you know, you got your foot stuck in the, in the water, just tipping your foot in there. Put your, put both your, jump in the water. You know, you, 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 you got good balance here. You got an angel saying, you know, look, I, I'm there for you. Don't be, don't be scared to, you know, to, uh, to test the waters. Go ahead and test the waters. Give it a try. Work on it. We're there to help you uh, to put this in balance, whatever the imbalance may be, if there's any. 
Okay, now in the third week, okay, Libra, you got the moon card. And um, with the moon card, it, to me, this is telling me for some of you Libras, you're feeling like you want to walk away from something, but you're not quite sure. You're, you're not quite sure if that's what you want to do because somebody's offering balance in the relationship for what they didn't maybe prior and now maybe they do so, but you're still, but you're skeptical. You 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 know you're skeptical with the moon. Is like you don't you might not feel like you see everything or know everything yet. Maybe you being a an investigator and you want to see what's going on behind this moon here that you're skeptical of before you make a decision on if you want this relationship to work for some of you. For some of you, you may, like I said, you know, because you're walking on water here again, this watery type situation. So some emotions is, is involved in this as well. So for some of you, this could be long term. I'm looking at that again, you know, because I'm picking up different stuff as I go along. I have to go along with the spirit guys are telling me. So they're giving me different stories um, for some of you with that as an overall energy it could be where this was long this is a long term relationship it's been going on for a long time some of you could be married to one another and it's a long and it needs some working on because there there could be some deception there could be some hidden things there could be some secrets going on and they have to be revealed with the moon. And if you keep walking forward to towards the moon, you're going to find out, Libra. Either that's happening to you, or you're, ha or this is being, either this is being done to you, or you're doing this to someone else that's been you've been in a relationship for a long time. And they want balance. You want balance as well because you're, you're the scales. You're the scale hole. You believe in balance. You love. You you have to have a balanced relationship for you to move forward with it, Libra male or female mm. then you neighbors you got the eight of cups here right after the moon so that's telling me for some of you libras out there male or female after you go through this process of kind of like investigating i'm pick i keep picking up investigating and and trying to find out what it is that you are feeling because i've the the, the, the spirits are saying some of you, you you have the gift of discernment and you could feel things and you're trying to investigate these feelings that don't feel right with you. Uh, you don't quite see it, but it is there and you're walking towards it and you're going to find out. And when you find out, this is what I'm picking up from the Eight of Cups is that you're going to walk away. Some of you are going to walk away. You're not going to take the offer of this other person with the Eight of Cups because... Um, um, you know, it looks like a you know you're moving forward. You know, you you invested. Like I said again, this is a long term relationship here that I'm picking up from a lot of you Libras, uh, relationship or marriage, or partnership. This is long term because if you look all the cups that somebody's leaving behind to walk away, they got their staff. That staff is their guide. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's going to be their guide to their next move or wherever they're going to go. And they're going to leave all the investments, that whatever they invested, they're willing to leave those because the cups are still standing. And for some of you Libras, I'm picking up that some of you <coughs> or this other person may try to hold you still. They don't want you to walk away. That's why the cups are still standing in the background. It's investments and it's long term and it's a lot giving of a lot of a emotional uh, investment in this relationship. But somebody, somebody, either you or that other person wants to walk away. It, they may have not done this yet, but it may be on their mind For, because they're so skeptical. They're so they're they're leery. They're leery of you, or you're leery of them. And you want to find out what's what's going on. And uh, it's a possibility that you want to walk away, whether you find out or not, and just leave all these investments, the emotional 
investment behind and just move forward. That's what this that's what this is telling me here. This is what I'm hearing. Or somebody don't want you to walk away or you don't want to walk away even though you know there's something hidden that you're feeling inside for some of you or this could be your partner. Okay? Let me look on the third week. Yeah, you're going to need the strength. This major arcana card is, you know, as well as the moon card and the temperance. They're, all three of those cards are really sticking out here saying this is the, the major energy that you need to focus on. So you need to, a lot of you Libras going to need to have the strength. You're going to have to, you know, learn strength. Either strength within the situation or whatever it is that you might find out about secrets or deception. Either you could be doing it or someone else long-term partnership here that I'm feeling and you're going to need strength or you're going to need to tame the lion with inside yourself is what I'm picking up as well for some of you Libras or the partner may need to have some strength they may have it might take them it might take them a long time to want to walk away From the relationship that's been long term, they might have been, they might have been, really mulling this over. Should I stay? Should I go? Should I stay? Should I go? I, I don't even know if I'm happy in this relationship because I keep feeling like there's something going on and I don't know about it. I just got a feeling. And it's going to take strength for, for for me to move on or for the other person to move on, if, if that's the case. Or they may not have gotten up the strength yet, and they're saying the strength card is here for you. Or they may, or Libra, you may need to tame your, the lion or the beast inside of you. And they're saying that it can be done. You can tame whatever this is. It can be tamed. Some of it could be salvageable as well with the strength card coming in saying, you know, maybe this could, for some of you, Libras, male or female, this maybe this could be salvageable with the strength card being there, even though there's temptation to find out things that may be going on behind the scenes. And you feel like maybe this could be in somebody's head because of it being, or emotions because of the cups that they may feel like they want to walk away. Maybe sometimes they feel like they want to walk away. Maybe sometimes they don't. And they have the strength to just like keep hanging in there. I'm feeling that's another thing I'm feeling. Okay. Yeah. Here's the Hermit card. Another major arcana card. Look, we got one, two, three. Four major arcana cards in your reading, Libra, which is some very, very heavy energy here. And this is somebody, the hermit is somebody who's, you know, trying to find his way or know their way or they could see the light. You know what I'm saying? They could see, they can see because they're an older person. The hermit is somebody older and they done been through life. They done been through challenges. They done been through heartaches and pains when it comes to relationships and that's why they keep their eye on the light they let the light they let they, they be they're guided by the light which is a spiritual light within inside of them and this is you i believe libra you always follow the, your inner light like i said you have a gift of discernment is what i'm getting out of this card you go inside and you think <clears throat> before you make a move before you bust a move <laughs> you think about it you go inside, um, you, you, you get to yourself, you stay to yourself, and you think a lot. And you follow the light that shines. Because uh, you're, look how you get, you see how they're gazing at this uh, light? Like, what the heck am I looking at here? Is this real? Um, so the light is shining on you in this situation with the moon, something that's hidden telling me it's coming to light it's going to shine the light on with you and you're going to be looking and gazing at it that's somebody who goes inside with inside themselves for their answers they, they they rely on spirit to show them the way
and you're in 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 the strength card you're looking the hermit is looking right at it so they got this they all that you're you're full of strength and you have courage and you contain the situation because it's right up under uh, the hermit is right up under, underneath the temperance which who who has balance and that is you libra you all you you balance the scales when it comes to you know this is a love relationship reading so there's like i said you know in the beginning this this is going to take some work here it's going to take some work it's going to take some strength it's going to take some decisions it's going to take some going inside yourself for the answers follow the spirit guides follow your discernment um somebody that, that really follows the they don't they don't go by their outside or hearsay this is a person that don't go by hearsay what somebody's telling them and that could be the case for another scenarios coming at me again it could be where somebody's telling somebody something that's not true or trying to make somebody skeptical of another person that may not be true so Libras, a lot of Libras are becoming their own investigators. They're going inside and they're relying on spirit to give them their answers rather than what somebody else has to say about somebody. That's another scenario I'm getting here. Wow, thank you, spirit. Dang. Told you this thing is getting stronger and stronger on me. So it's giving me this extended because it's giving me a lot of information through the meditation that I'm doing before each reading. That's why I'm pre-shuffle. Okay, now we got the Knight of Wands that's coming in here. Knight of Wands. Um, that's a uh um a air. Uh, I'm sorry, a fire sign. A Aries. What is it? Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, or a uh, uh, fire sign. Somebody fiery. This could be male or female, depending on looking at the video. It is a knight. They come with passion. They're a sign of passion. They're a sign of um, a go-getter. Um, they 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 come out with fire, with a fiery type energy within themselves. Or this, you could be carrying the energy of this Libra. Some of you Libras out there, you may be carrying the energy of the Knight of Wands. It could be your, your, it could be your um, Sun, Moon, or Rising sign, Libra, or this could be a person that may be the uh, the overall in here. This person you've been with for a a, a long time. It could be either a Fire sign or the, it could be their Sun, Moon, or Rising sign. And this Knight of Wands is looking at the Hermit, like what do, what are you going to do? What what you, you know, what's the decision here? I'm, I don't know what's going on because, see, they're riding on the horse, but the horse is, you know, it's not under control. It's like it's it's like they're confused and they're getting agitated. That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm hearing. They're getting agitated because they feel as though they're right up underneath the moon. And they're indecisive about something. They're feeling something's going on, and they're getting agitated about whatever it is. Different scenario could be the partner that you're with, or it could be you, Libra, with this with 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 the sun, moon, or rising sign of a a, a, a fire sign. You could be getting agitated and a little fiery, a little out of control, a little bit. Um. A lot of coming, a lot of going because wands are of action. So they also could be taking action after because they're facing the hermit. Whatever they find out in the light of discernment of their spirit guides, they may take action or you may take action, Libra. They may take action or you may take action after going deep inside yourself. It may be action time. It may be time to move. It may be time to go. Or it may be a time to come, but this has to be in it has to be in order, in some type of order. Passion is coming with this night. Determination is coming with this night. Determined, determined to do something or make something happen.
determined to, to make a conclusion, determined to um, figure this thing out. And they may bring on a little fire with it. You know, it could be an argument. Because this, this knight looks frustrated a little. He looks a little frustrated. His horse is all over the place. He's he's just coming in with fire and, you know, and he's got that wand up in the air, like ready to fight. Okay? Fire, you know, fiery elements. I'm ready to stand my ground, speak up, whatever I got to say. I'm ready to speak up on what I feel like. I went inside and found out from my spirit guides that I follow the light. I gained the strength. And now I'm going to speak up, Libra, or either the person you're with, and stand my ground and mean it, regardless of how it is, whether you walk away or not. I'm going to speak my ground by what I found out that was in that wasn't quite up to surf in on surface yet but you went inside and found it out and now you're ready to stand your ground in this relationship well you got the um wow everybody all the uh, all the air signs been getting this doggone card the, the, the nine of uh, wands. Every sign has been get all, all the air signs been getting this card. But this one is upside down. Okay? It came up upside down. So, it's upside down telling me that maybe somebody ain't going to walk away. <laughs> you know? Once they stand their ground and say, you know, look, it's this and this and this and this relationship. It's going to be have to be balanced, harmony, peace. Because that's what I stand for as a Libra. I, I'm about balance and harmony. I'm not about imbalance. I'm not, you know, you know, uh, it's not about all this me, me, me doing stuff. It has to be balanced. Okay. Why isn't it balanced? I want to know what, what's the, what's, what's going on? What's going on inside of you? Uh, this long-term relationship I'm feeling that it is with couples and marriages and, even people, even a new relationship that has to be worked on for you singles that are entering into a new relationship or will be entering into a new relationship. There's some challenges, okay? Those who are already in is, is starting challenges here already. And somebody's going to speak up. They're going to speak their mind. They're going to be determined. They're going to be a little hot-headed maybe, a little bit. They're going to show their, they're going to stand their ground. And then things just may work out okay because this is upside down so you know nobody's getting kicked out nobody's leaving okay would it be an upside down now if it was right side up i said oh okay somebody that made the, after this little uh confrontation somebody's like got kicked out or somebody leaving but it's upside down so it's telling me that maybe things get worked out that's what i'm feeling get worked out in this long term relationship after somebody stands their ground and put their foot down and say, hey, this this needs to be this way, this needs to be that way in order for us to continue on with this relationship. And maybe the you know, with the you know, somebody just bows down and say, Okay. You know. All right, I'm willing. I'm willing to make this thing balanced. I'm you know, I, I I'm t I, you know, I'm I'm willing to put in the work or build so it don't end rather than an ending I think we should just work things out is what I'm getting for a lot of you Libras or your partner that you're with okay Let's see if let me take a moment see if I see anything else no that's basically <laughs> the story um, now I'm going to use the E cards, the E oracle cards, and I'm just, because this is an extended reading, I'm going to go ahead and verify some things with the E cards. Um, first thing I want to verify is that Three of Pentacles. 
And I do, you know, I get, being that I'm reading intuitively, I already, I, I believe I do, I really don't need to do, but being this extended, I like to go ahead on and, you know, just clarify for you and, you know, being that I have these cards and all, they're basically going to be saying the same thing of what I said anyway, but just in a couple of words, <laughs> rather than a story, okay? And then I'll get to your uh, bonus card, Libras, male or female, generally. Okay, what I'm getting for the Five of Pentacles <laughs> is hairball. <laughs> hairball hairball is something you know <clears throat> don't cats or dogs have hairballs they get stuck <laughs> like that so with this yeah it's something that's stuck it's a hairball it's like something that's that's in the throat it could be in the throat chakra where you, somebody can't speak up or say what's on their mind so you know they got a hairball about a situation about you know balance and give and take in a relationship there's they're feeling like they got a hairball in their throat or they can't say too much or they thinking too much you know something stuck here in the throat chakras so get that hairball out speak up okay let me do the moon card see what's going on with the moon being that I already told the story I can just already tell but I'm gonna do it anyway for you guys the moon, the moon, what's going on with the moon, spirit guides? Oh, one fell out here. Let's see. It says, <laughs> just say now. Just say it now. Period. That's what I said. All this investigating going on and you know what's 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 going on with this moon? What's what's being hidden? Discover it and say it now. Which I already even came to the conclusion, conclusion that it is. Okay, what's going on with the Nine of Wands? I'm sorry, the Eight of Cups. We're walking away or thinking about it. Somebody's thinking about it. But they got, they invested all their emotions in this relationship. It's going to take a lot of strength. It's, some of y'all just may walk out of a relationship. It just, But it doesn't look like that to me with a lot of you with the Nine of Wands reversed. If it was upright, I'd say, oh, okay. And this is just for some of you. It's not going to be for all you Libras, just general. All right, being that this is, let's put that on the side here. Okay, for the non eight of wands, I'm saying, Bazinga, again, come up for a, another air side. Bazinga, that means right on point here. This is right on point with the eight of cups, like whatever you went inside, whatever you were find out here that you need to open up about just say you know just say now now all right right now what's up what's up right now what's going on what's what's the what's the hairball what's what, what you can't get out of your mouth what i can't get out of my mouth okay bazinga you know okay bazinga i found out <laughs> should i walk away should i stay all right what else am i going to verify you know, you found out whatever it was. You found out. You got your information. Bazinga. Or bam. Whatever you want to say. Bam. There it go. With the hermit and all that. I already explained all that. <clears throat> what am I doing? Okay. We're doing the nine of wands upside down. We already know what the knight's up to. Knight's standing at ground. Some, some open decisions here. Some decisions are being made to stay or go. We'll just confirm. I have to say confirm. That's what I'm going to say. This is just confirming what I say already. That's what I'm going to start saying is just confirm. I guess verifying is confirming, isn't it? So, who the heck am I talking about? Okay, Spirit God. Verify the nine of wands. Let's just verify that one. Okay. 
Bunny Hop Jive. <laughs> Buddy, these cards are funny. And the angel guys are funny as well, okay? Um, bunny Hop Jive. So all this was what? A big old bunny hop jive? It really wasn't all that deep as what somebody thought it was. They just put on a bunny hop jive, jive just to get some attention or something. They ain't going nowhere. They carrying on all this here, carrying on all up in their head or something like that or whatever. But it ended up being a bunny hop, bunny hop jive. All of it for nothing, basically. Because ain't nobody going nowhere. You know, that's all it's saying to me. It ain't, they ain't going nowhere. They're going through all these changes. or Maybe they want some attention. I don't know. But it ended up being a bunny hop, hop jive. It's just a bunch of bull crap. And ain't nobody really going nowhere. Basically. Okay, that's the end of your reading, um, Libra. Hope that made sense to some of you. Now, for your card, that I, it says Light Channel. Okay, Libra, light channel. See your body as an open channel or of light. That's what reminds me of this here. See that? The hermit is a body of light. They go inside and they, they go inside and they deal with the spirit and the answers for them. See as a channel of see your um see your body as a open channel of light. Command your um, central energy into Mother Earth while breathing it up through the light so sacred, so powerful, so healing. So it's sacred, powerful, and healing basically is what the hermit does. And basically, you know, maybe you come across with a lot of passion and desire and it comes through sexual as you go inside and see everything and it always just a buddy hop jive <laughs> somebody just wanting to somebody paranoid or some something like that but ain't nobody going nowhere ain't nobody doing nothing they just making a bunch of noise for for nothing because they ain't gonna do nothing they ain't going nowhere it's upside down so everything's finally <laughs> Libra with your relationship uh, or whoever this other person is. They just buddy hop jive, okay? And it's funny. The spirits are kind of funny sometimes. So <laughs> that's your reading, Libra. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it made sense to some of you guys. If you want a personal private reading with me, look below in the description. You'll see all my information on how to get in touch with me and get a more detailed reading if you're, you're, if you're still curious about what's going on here. Uh, it's detailed and catered to you personally, okay? Some of this stuff might come up in your reading, but it's going to be more detailed. I go through quite a bit of cards for clarity and, um, and uh, information that's going to take place in the future for you as well as what's going on now. And like I tell everybody, this is not set in stone because you can change your future once you find out about it. You can make it work. You can manipulate it to be something different. That's that. All we do is give you the information, warnings. That's what the spirit guide does. They give you warnings and clues, you know, things to come. You can, and then you can manipulate that from there. If it's something that you don't want to, you know, be bothered with or deal with, you know what to do. You, 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 you stay away from it or you go another direction. That's the only thing I can tell you. Go another direction. Okay, Libra. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in, um, these months going by so fast. I'm just forgetting. I got my little hair thing going on here. My mom made this little thing for me and I just like, put it on whatever it looks like i don't know what it looks like but it keeps me nice and cool right now okay thank you guys for tuning in i hope you enjoyed your reading and i will see you mid-july okay to do your mid-month readings is there like i said they'd be shorter i do the air, air air fire water that's how i do my mid you know readings if anybody has any other suggestion you know it, it has to be a little shorter like i said because <clears throat> it's going to still carry on some energies of the 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 month for the month of july readings that i already done because i noticed i did that last month and the same energies was still there 
uh, that I did for the monthly, okay? So that's why it's a little shorter, and that's why I do it like that. And I thank you guys, who, all you who done the time stamping for me. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Much love to you. Um, <clears throat> as I say in all my videos, and I really do mean it, I love you guys. Love is all there is, and love is all there ever be. I'll talk to you mid-July. You guys take care, and I love you. Thank you. Bye-bye.